Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. We are at 9th day of February Lead Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover in this video is K different pairs in an array. So we are given an input array nums and a variable K uh, which is also an integer and uh, we have to return the number of K difference unique pair in the array. So what, what is mean by the K different pair in the given array is it is a pair of two numbers and the numbers must be of index i less than j less than nums dot length, which is nothing but the pair must be like 3 comma whatever in the uh, future that is uh, after the index 0 and the difference between two numbers must be k and also we have to return we have to take the count of only unique different pairs so let's understand this with an example so here is our given example and we have to find k different pairs which whose difference is equal to 2. So starting from 3 as the problem statement said our uh, values must be of index i less than j less than n which is nothing but length of the array. So now uh, so in that case we have to start from the very first index of our array which is 3. From here we have to check for elements whose difference is 2. So now 3 minus 2. 1 is 2 so we are adding 3 comma 1 and uh, 3 minus 4 is not 2 ignoring it 3 minus 1 is again 2 that is also considered to be a pair whose difference is 2 but we already have 3 comma 1 so adding 3 comma 1 again is not a unique pair so in that case we cannot add it to our result or count it as part of our result so again 3 comma 5 is also uh, a pair whose difference is 2. So now let me add 3 comma 5 as well. So now starting from 1 again we are going to do the difference between two, 1 and 4 is not 2, 1 and 1 is not 2, 1 and 5 is also not 2. Considering the same from 4, 4 comma 1 and 4 comma 5 none of the differences are 2 and finally 1 comma 5 the difference is again not true. So we got only 2 pairs which are unique and whose difference is so 2 is going to be a result. So how are we going to approach this programmatically? So as we have seen how we iterate our numbers right from the beginning and comparing it with the rest of the elements, we can go for two for loops to compare the elements in such a way that i is equal to 0 to n and the second for loop starts from j is equal to i plus 1 to n because we have to compare only with the rest of the elements in the array. So by doing so we will compare the elements and if the difference comes as k then we are going to add over it or increment our result variable. So this is a brute force approach and that is going to take big O of n log n time as the second loop actually uh, reduces by one element for every iteration. So but then how are we going to do it optimally? in big O of n time. Let's see. So now there are two elements that is going to help us to achieve our optimal solution. The first thing is here they have asked only the count of k different pairs and not the actual values or actual pairs itself. So in that case we don't have to really store them or uh, compare them in the particular order because if it is 3 comma 5 or if we compare 5 comma 3 anyway one element is going to be at index i and other element is going to be at index j. So here checking with the order doesn't matter since our output is just the count. And the second thing here is if we have to check the difference between any two elements is equal to k one way is to compare the elements and find the difference and check whether it matches k or not. And other way is if we have a number nums of i then we, if we have to check there exists an element with difference 2, then we can check nums of i plus k exist in the given array or not. By looking so, or if there is a number n of j, then n of j minus k exist or not. So these are the ways we can check whether such pair exist or not instead of completely iterating the array for one particular element. So what are we going to do is we are simply going to check if 3 plus k exist or not and 1 plus k exist or not. So for comparing it very easily we need a data structure for easier access of the elements. So we either go for a set but there is one more criteria we have to understand here. Uh, we of course want a unique pair 
so so that can be achieved by using a set so what if k is equal to 0 so in that case we have to compare the elements exist twice for example 4 comma 4 is if the array is having 4 comma 4 and the k is equal to 0 then in that case we should be looking for uh, the pair 4 comma 4 in this given array so if we go for set we won't have the count of the element we simply put a unique value so in that case set will not work instead we would go for a hash map so that we can store the element as well as its count so simple logic is that we are going to use a hash map to store the element and its count and we are going to check if the el element plus k exists or not if it exists we are going to increment the value if not we are going to further proceed with the right iteration so it is as simple as that let's go for a very quick iteration so that you'll get an understanding of how we are going to implement it programmatically so this is a hash map i'm going to store the number and count of its occurrence so here the number three occurred once and number one occurred twice four occurred once and five occurred once so what are we going to do we are going to simply iterate these four numbers and look for that number plus k exist or not so now 3 3 plus k exist or not yes it exists so we are incrementing our result to 1 and then 1 1 plus k is 2 3 exists or not yes 3 exists so it can be 1 comma 3 or 3 comma 1 all we need is the count so we are going to increment our uh, result one more time and then 4 plus 2 is 6 6 doesn't exist 5 plus 2 is 6, 7 7 also doesn't exist we are at end of the list so simply we are going to return our result so this case is applicable if k is greater than 0 so if there is a difference then we compare if that exists or not so if k is equal to 0 then in that case we are going to look for the count for example if k is equal to 0 in the same case then we are look, going to look for we can form the pairs only if both the numbers are equal right so in that case we are going to look if 3 is 3's count is greater than 1. No, 3's count is not greater than 1. And 1's count is greater than 1. Yes, 1's count is greater than 1. In that case, we have one result for k is equal to 0. The next number is 4. Let's check whether its count is equal to 1, greater than 1. No, it is 1. So, it, this also cannot form a pair uh, which results in k is equal to 0. Again, 5 is also only 1. We don't have one more 5 to form 5 comma 5. So finally, we are going to return our result. Result is equal to 1. So this is for case k is equal to 0. So yes, this is how we are going to code it. Let's go to the code now. So as I said, we are going to have a map in which we are going to store the numbers and its occurrence. So yes, this loop will update the number as key and the value as the occurrence of the number in the given array. So once that is done, we are simply going to iterate the uh, key set and check whether the number satisfies the condition we have seen. So we are going to check if k is greater than 1, sorry, greater than 0. Then in that case, we are going to check if the number plus k exists or not. Or if k is equal to 0. Then in that case, we are going to get the count. And we are going to check whether the count is greater than 1. If both the cases are, if one of the cases are satisfied, then we have a pair that is satisfying the problem statement. Then we are going to update our result. So let me declare a result variable. And finally, we are going to return the result. Okay, let's try it. Yes, so let's submit. Yes, the solution has been accepted and runs in 12 milliseconds. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.